In this video, I am going to explain a practice problem based on d block elements. The oxidizing power of the following three oxoanions in the series follows this order. Now we have to explain why MnO4- has highest oxidizing power. Here vanadium has plus 5 oxidation state, Cr2O7 2 minus, chromium in plus 6 and MnO4 minus, manganese is plus 7 oxidation state. They all are in the highest oxidation state and their electronic configuration is 4S0, 3D0. Now oxidizing agent means it itself reduces and helps other reagent to get oxidized. That means all these reagents they will reduce and it will help other reagents to get oxidized. Usually MnO4 minus manganese plus 7 reduced to manganese plus 2. Cr2O7 chromium plus 6 reduced to chromium plus 3. And VO2 plus vanadium plus 5 reduced to vanadium plus 4. When VO2 plus reduced to VO2 plus, plus 5 oxidation state become plus 4 oxidation state. And in plus 4 oxidation state, Vanadium has 3D1 electronic configuration. Next is Cr2 O7 2 minus chromate to chromium plus 3 reduction takes place. In chromium plus 6 it is 4S0 3D0 but chromium plus 3 it is 3D3. MnO4 minus reduced to Mn2 plus so plus 7 to plus 2 plus 7 manganese plus 7 is 4S0 3D0 manganese plus 2 is 3D5. Now here we can see 3D5 means it's a half filled d orbital and which is a very stable electronic configuration. It indicates that MnO4- minus, when it converts to Mn plus 2 it is a feasible process because due to this conversion it's getting a half filled d orbital. But in other cases we can see that chromium plus 3 is d3 and vanadium plus 4 is d1. So since this reduction is a feasible reduction due to stability of electronic configuration, so that's why MnO4- minus act as a strong oxidizing agent means it oxidizes other elements but itself get reduced to manganese plus 2 to get a half filled d orbital configuration. That's why MnO4- minus has highest oxidizing power and VO2 plus has lowest oxidizing power.